Hello everybody, this is Budridge and uh, this video will be about Senity and GTK windows and stuff and how to uh, invoke them from scripts and we will look into some of the drawbacks, uh, issues, solutions, dirt hacks and drama <laughs> in, in the GTK world. Uh, but uh, I've been uh, testing out this a bit here with the uh, thumbnailer add thumbnail script So now I can do this I can right click one of these and just select thumb adder here. We get a, a file selector window and I can just select an image um, Let's try not to, to Select something that is uh, here this chilling frog. Okay Perfect and you see, it, it automatically now creates a new thumbnail for this uh, uh, image using the script we, we started building in the last video. And th this is how it looks like now. And as you can see, it's not a big script or anything. And this uh, file selector uh, window, it's invoked uh, with this command, Senity, and just these uh, three command line options here. So, um, Senity is... Um, you probably have it installed uh, because it's... Uh, sometimes a, a dependency for other uh, programs um, but you can search uh, in your package manager for Zenity uh, and it um, display graphical dialog boxes from shell script so so it's uh, this is its purpose um, when you have it installed, you can run Senity Help, uh, and these application options are the different types of windows uh, you can think of it that you can uh, make Senity display for you. So we try one of these here. Let's try Calendar. Calendar. There. And then it, uh, we get a calendar window. We select a date. Press OK here. And then it prints the selected date to standard out. Uh, could try one with entry which is just a simple entry box here writing some text and then it prints that to standard out and that, that means you can use it in, in scripts you know, you can just uh, create a var is equal to this command and then we can do echo var and then it prints what we entered in the box and it would work with, with any other here and uh, the Senity window that I use here is uh, file selection. And that just brings up this file selection window. Right now it's completely blank here because it's by default it uses the recently used uh, files. Uh, so in your, uh, if you try this out, you probably already have some files here. Uh, well, yeah. And. Um, but I actually don't use this official or, or official default uh, Senity um, package uh, in Pacman here. Senity there, this one, uh, because I like GTK2, and this default one it, it uses G GTK3 to display the, the windows and stuff. This is another alternative that I also tried. But I actually liked Senity better for this purpose. But Jad here have one cool feature that Senity doesn't. But I don't think we get into that in this video. I kind of recommend Senity. But I actually use uh, the GTK fork of uh, Senity or version. So in, if you search in GTK instead, you can see here here is the Senity GTK2. But it works exactly the same, the same command line options and everything. It's just the only difference is that it will... Uh, use GTK2 uh, to, to display the, the windows. And I, I just like GTK2 better. I think it looks better. I think it runs faster. I, I just like it better. If I can choose, I choose GTK2. Um, but another difference, uh, if, if you try this yourself, uh, will be that when you open the file selection uh, box here, let's open uh, uh, some, some, uh, some, um, directory with images for example uh, yeah, boomer here it's cool um, you can see I have icon preview and I can select the size of these uh, 
thumbnails here and, and these thumbnails it actually uses the same thumbnails as we uh, do in the pictures it, it, it loads these thumbnails from from the cache uh, but if you try this out you will not have this icon view you will only have the list view uh, looking like this and I, I think that's uh, uh, when, when, especially when you want to select an image, it's kind of nice to have the thumbnails. That's one of the benefits using like graphical user interface programs that it should be easy to display thumbnails and, and the image previews and stuff. And, and this is how Sanity looked like the, when I first launched it. And I thought, isn't there a way to have like an image preview at least? Uh, um, uh, so I went on a little duck duck go uh, mission to see what I could do and it took me to let's see it's probably this one yeah this uh, repository here which is dudeman guys uh, fork of GTK and this fork only implements one single patch to add uh, icon view to the file chooser window and this file chooser window, that is, it's not created by Sanity, it is provided by GTK. So in any application that you would uh, open a file chooser window, uh, this patch will apply. Or if you don't use this patch, it, uh, you will not have icon view. Uh, and this is a personal fork of GTK2. Yeah, this is GTK2 because I use GTK2, uh, so I installed the GTK2 patch, but there is a GTK3 patch as well. And this patch, it follows the GTK, the, the, the normal GTK uh, arc uh, package. And Dudeman guy here, who have created this uh, fork, he also maintained the, the AUR package. Uh, and uh, Dudeman, Dudeman guy seems like a really good dude, uh, a really good uh, man and a really good guy as well uh, and seems to know what he's doing so it's almost that I can recommend this but it is a bit of a hack you know you will if you install this you will need to recompile and uh, install an uh, unofficial build of GTK GTK and this is uh, uh, for one, it's a it's a it's kind of a large bloated GTK is a big bloated mess, you know. So it is a couple of hundred megabytes download, and it is uh, a couple of minutes build time to to, to do this. But I haven't uh, really stumbled upon any issues with this fork, and and since it only uh, uh, patch this uh, feature, it, it's not a big patch. Uh, uh, I think it's fine. Um, but I got a bit interested here when I read this readme uh, because this is a personal fork with the intention of solving the infamous uh, file chooser bug. So I opened this uh, page here, it's this one. And this is a bug, an issue report that was reported uh, back in 2004, April 2004. So it's almost 16 years ago when this uh, bug was reported. Uh, some user here who would uh, like to see the feature of an icon view in the file chooser window. That would be really uh, useful when you are browsing for images, for example when working in GIMP. Uh, also, it also goes on here to saying that uh, this feature has been default in Windows for a long time, already in 2004. This is not like rocket science or, or some far out uh, weird feature. That I can really see that this this is something that is almost important when you are working with images to be able to, to select the images uh, by, by looking at the thumbnails. Uh, and KDE have, have it imp implemented. But you can see here, he, he, he reported this 2004. Um, and no maintainer here is, is replying. The only thing they do is, is marking other uh, reports as duplicate of this bug uh, and this is this is already two years after the initial report here no answers uh, 2009 I believe is the first uh, or 2008 here is, is, is the first time some developer like four years after the bug was reported someone uh, acknowledged this for real but they kind of dismiss it, saying that it is too complicated to implement uh, and just yell, uh, yell at the um, users here to implement it themselves. <laughs> uh, 
and this goes on and on. Uh, and sometimes some user here comes in with, with some uh, patch uh, that actually implement the feature. And they also say that, hey, but just use the thumbnail specification that uh, Tumblr and other guys are using because there is uh, an official thumbnail managing standard that, uh, yeah, w which is part of what I just show you in the last video with the thumbnail directory in the cache and stuff here. Uh, but the GNOME guys, they are like, ah. And they reject the patches, uh, they, they don't... Uh, this could have been easily fixed here back in 2009, 2010 when the first patches were, were supplied. If, if they, but, but they treat the, these committers uh, not in the best way. This is a very interesting read. I really recommend you reading this thread. You, you can skim over it and a lot this uh, duplication. So, so it's not, even if it's a lot of text, it, it's uh, a quick read to, to get the <laughs> interesting part, you know. Uh, but this this issue isn't resolved. They haven't they have still not added this uh, feature to the file chooser dialog in GNOME. Uh, 16 years after it was proposed, uh, it's available in every other pff, uh, 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 thing like Qt and Windows and Mac, of course, and, and whatever. Uh, and here the thread ends here uh, May 2018 when uh, GNOME uh, moved their infrastructure to. Uh, GitLab instead and the thread continues there but it is actually closed uh, in 2019 without any good reason to close it from what I can see and uh, uh, without resolving this uh, issue at all uh, and as late as uh, eight months ago uh, one of the main uh, or one of the maintainers here say that they, they, they don't care about random patches on GitHub and then He's, he's basically referring to, to Dudeman Guy's uh, patch here because Dudeman Guy, uh, back in 2016 or 17, he, he actually fixed this and he, he, th this patch works. Uh, it's not worse than, than <laughs> the original uh, GTK version. And to me, after reading this thread, I had no idea about this. Uh, it it kind of it was an eye opener, and I kind of really want to get rid of. Uh, uh, well, kind of GTK altogether, but at least GTK3. Uh, my only dependency is uh, Sublime, which not, is not a small dependency for me personally, but whatever, this video is not about that. But just a very interesting read. I will link link to these things and also Dudeman Guy's uh, patch here. Also, if you go with this route and install the patch, uh, you should install uh, this other patch as well. Uh, uh, he have made a patch to JLib Thumbnailer. This is also a big download and build, uh, so it will feel a bit <laughs> scary to install these things from AUR, and I kind of don't recommend it, but if you are in this, uh, yeah, you know, if you install random packages from AUR, here's another random package from AUR to install. This will actually automatically create thumbnails if they doesn't exist in the cache when you open this file, uh, uh, preview window and that is kind of useful uh, and makes it feel a lot more stable because sometimes you will not get the thumbnails but I had some some initial uh, weird issues uh, uh, with this um, let's look at this sanity file selection uh, window again here first thing was that um, yeah this recently used files there is uh, the, you, you cannot set uh, the, the directory you want to view in Sanity. Uh, there is no option to, uh, hey, display the pictures directory. It will, it will either uh, show you the recently used uh, um, files or you can change the setting in .config gtk2.0 and then there's a file called gtk filechooser.ini. Um, here you have startup mode. If you change this to CWD, current, current working directory, then it will show you the files in the current working directory instead. And here I was in, in the PIX directory, so it shows me that. And there's another difference with this. Uh, I kind of... Uh, maybe that was stupid, uh, because I, I just cleared this recent... Uh, file cache here 
uh, and that meant that yeah I don't have any recently used files but you can see here uh, even if you have recently used files in your cache uh, they will get displayed here uh, but one weird thing is that this uh, control here will have focus so you know when you open when, when you get this uh, window you probably if you are uh, intelligent you want to use your your keyboard to select files so you start pressing the arrow keys maybe to select the file but since this slider here and this slider uh, uh, changes the size of the icons <laughs> that has focus uh, and you know this is one of those things even if you know about this bug you will always forget it and start changing the size of the icons it's extremely annoying um, and that happens when you when you have uh, recent files here if you are opening uh, the current working directory then that will not have effect then the the uh, uh, the browser window will be selected and you can uh, start selecting file immediately uh, yeah, we get back to this a bit because there's an, another thing was that uh, by default when I installed the patch it was still I think it was listing uh, uh, the icons in list view anyway by default like this I had to manually go in here and change the icon view and it also had the icon size set to a size even smaller than this I just got a flat line it looked kind of broken uh, and I tried to find a, a, a solution to this. I couldn't really find anything online, but apparently you need these two lines here. View mode, icon view, that will set it to icon view by default. And then this view scale, uh, that is the size here. Uh, and I found this by uh, uh, getting a file chooser uh, window from... Uh, from... Um, pale moon like this because then it saved the state here so now if I change this to list view here let's see and then I'll press cancel see now if you get list view yeah now you can see it, it because it doesn't save the state of, of the window here from with the sanity for some reason now I will still get the list view but it will save the state when you open it in pale moon it worked maybe so, so you need to find a program that that opens this uh, file chooser dialog for you and then change the view to, to have it to have a default or manually add these uh, values to this uh, gtk file chooser dot ini file so that's uh, one important thing, uh, otherwise it will feel kind of broken when you install that patch. But that was the only thing, after, after this was fixed it, 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 it works kind of nice. Um, but another uh, thing was this uh, uh, setting a default directory, and I just fig figured this out. Uh, uh, if you have startup mode current working directory, then it will open here. Now, now we are in the fixed directory, so it will open that directory. But let's say I wanted to open... Um, um, the config directory instead but I don't want to change the working directory then you can actually uh, execute sanity from uh, inside a subshell like this changing the directory to, to yeah, work dot config and then sanity file selection so this will work actually now you can see we have the .config and we also have the correct window uh, or uh, this is selected by default. I could just immediately start using the, the arrow keys which is extremely nice. Uh, another, another very weird thing is that yes this window has focus but if you open a directory that only contains a single file. Let's see if we can find one. I just opened it. God damn it. Maybe this was not best example okay we need here this directory has a single file now I cannot select this file because it I, I don't know it's so weird if I press space then you can see the OK button here is trying to get prep I cannot select this file other than clicking this it, it's it's kind of terrible uh, and it's probably 
GDK uh, issues, whatever. Uh, and um, so, so we could do something like this, but now you will see another issue, and this is because uh, my, uh, you know, my CD DIRTAC, and we could see that, yeah, here as well. You see, it, it still printed uh, the listing of uh, .config here, because I have my CD uh, hack, you know, the, that always does an LS every time I do a CD. And that will uh, kind of apply here uh, as well. So even if I select a file here now, God damn it, give me a file. There, select this file. And now if I echo the value of var, will also echo the directory listing because that's part of this subshell here so if you have something <laughs> some dirt act like that just the prefix cd with command here and then it will use the built-in cd and not the custom function cd which only applies if you have a custom function of course but whatever you could still use the command cd here uh, even if you don't have a custom function and now uh, you will get the expected result and can still set the, the default uh, uh, directory. I have tested some alternatives to Senity. Um, one is uh, GT Dialog, uh, which is it's, it's really nice and that actually have a command line option to, uh, uh, to set the directory you want it to, to spawn. Um, but um, yeah, when you do that, then that, that is actually worse because now you can see, now it have this control selected. So now you cannot use the arrow keys. Then you have to double press tab to get into the file browser view here. I, I, I kind of hate that. I hate it a lot. And this is not just a dude man um, guy's fault here because when I tried this with a, a, a GTK3, uh, version where I don't have any patches uh, uh, installed, then this panel has focused by default, of course, you know. So if you start using the arrow keys, then you will just select a completely different location here. I don't know if it's, yeah, it, it, it's just one of the tell, tell signs that uh, the GTK guys uh, and the GNOME guys, they, they, don't, they don't understand uh, uh, UX design whatsoever. Uh, and yeah, this, this was an eye-opener for me, reading this bug and just testing these small, basic, simple features that you would just think is should be uh, a no-brainer to create a, a, a default file browser window like this. Having the focus set at the right place, having icon view, uh, the option to at least view icon view. You know, they could have implemented this, but because when you read this thread, you know, you, you get kind of, I don't know. Because the, the GTK developers, they actually mentioned themselves that you shouldn't use this icon view uh, module, GTK module or whatever they call it, widget, because it's, a, it's very bad. Uh, they say uh, it's extremely slow, this icon, their own icon view module is very slow. H here it is. Uh, GTK uh, can be, icon view can be terribly slow during startup if thumbnails need to be generated. Because it's terribly uh, programmed. It's a, it, and they, they say that themselves. So they say maybe we should fix this, but no one steps up and fix that. So uh, what, what this means is that, uh, and this is kind of known uh, among uh, GNOME and GTK uh, people, those who, who create GTK programs. So no one uses this GTK icon view because it's completely unusable. And you might think that when you're writing a GUI library, this is kind of one of the staple features you know to have an icon view grid some kind of you know i don't know it, i have no faith in 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 gtk at all and i didn't have that prior to reading this uh, uh thread here um but now i don't know and i don't like qt uh, <laughs> either but I don't know, I think this is, we, we are at the beginning of the end or at the end of the end probably, you know. Soon uh, we will have a new operating system to play around with uh, uh, or we already got it, you know, and I, I will soon move there and they have their uh, own um, GUI library and everything uh, reworked uh, in a sane and sober way. 
whatever. Uh, but still, even with these small annoyances and quirks and, uh, and stuff, you know, this is very useful to have this uh, sanity installed uh, so you can use it in, in your scripts. It's very easy then to add like a file chooser menu or a calendar or something when you need information like that. And it's it's still better than, than dirt hacking your own uh, D menu, Rofi file browser or whatever. This, this makes much more sense, especially when you're selecting images now when we can have the uh, uh, icon preview and stuff. So that uh, was the video about sanity uh, and things like that. Uh, I thought I'd make, a, make this uh, like a separate thing, you know, uh, we don't talk anything about this weird part here. We get into that in the next video about uh, thumbnails and URI schemes and, and things like that. But I will link Dudeman Guy's repo here. Um, and Dudeman Guy, he's, he's like, um, he knows what he's doing, it seems like. He's a package maintainer for, for Artix Linux. Uh, um, and seems like an all in all good person. Um, but I will link this repo um, if this is something that you feel that you need then you could try to install it if you don't like it then you can reinstall GTK again and, and there are uh, like patch files here if you're not using ARC so you can uh, re-patch GTK yourself but there I don't dare to say uh, how that works and, and if I can recommend it maybe this doesn't work as well on other distributions it works perfect on, on Arc. And it it actually feels better to for me to use this GTK2 because GTK2 more or less doesn't change anything in the uh, GTK source anymore. You can also read about that here because no one really asked the Dudeman guy here, hey, hey, can you make a patch? He, he just uh, went into this thread and he said, hey, I got this working. I also created a GTK2 version. So, so here I have two different versions for GTK2 and GTK3. And they, they more or less didn't even look at the GTK2 patch. They just said, hey, don't, uh, don't work on GTK2. We will not even, uh, don't even think about uh, changing the GTK2 source. Uh, it's all GTK3 now. And soon the same approach will be on, on GTK3. I think that's, what, that's the conclusion they, they come up with here. At, uh, uh, yeah, we should probably wait till GTK4 or something, I, if I'm not mistaken. That's that's one of the last uh, maintainer uh, uh, solutions here. At this point, it's probably better to wait until we have GTK list view. And you know, this, this is, these are things they will get in GTK4. So th they will never fix this. It, they had four, 15 years, <laughs> this issue. And it's not like, it's not like this fringe, strange, uh, uh, just for cool appearances feature request, you know, I, I think it's why wasn't this uh, in the blueprint before they, they even started uh, creating the, the file chooser window. They should have, okay, we got a file chooser window, we want list view and of course we should have an icon view. It's like, no, whatever, uh, who cares, you know. It's, uh, yeah. I get, I get uh, why people don't uh, uh, like GNOME and why the GNOME developers has gotten a lot of uh, critique for yeah, how they handle things like this and, and their uh, overall attitude. This, this thread is an eye-opener uh, if, if you aren't aware of any of this. Whatever. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day. Yeah.